Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about the last parameter passing mechanism that is called as call by name or call by text and we'll see an example of it. Welcome again and the next is, is uh, our a call by name or text parameter passing passing mechanism okay so we are now learning call by name parameter passing mechanism so call by name is uh, traditionally defined by the copy rule of algol uh, which is uh, which is this that the processor is treated as if it were a macro okay so we have to remember few points and among the important point, point is that the processor is treated as macro that is the that is uh, its body is substituted for the call in the caller so generally what what happens is uh, that main function is there and suddenly there is a call of fun and uh, then there is a termination and there is again there is a fun so now it the control take the flow from here to here then it complete the entire function then again control returns to this particular point okay um, that means uh, any statement after this uh, one so any statement after this one after one okay so there the control it takes the control over there but here uh, what does it say that it's uh, the processor body is substituted okay processor Procedure body is substituted is substituted for the call for the call in the caller okay so that is the idea that for the call in the caller the procedure body will be substituted it just uh, like a macro expansion an actual parameter literally substituted for the formal parameter okay actual parameter literally substituted okay actual parameter actual parameter literally substituted for the formals okay so for the formals actual parameters are substituted so formal variables are gone uh, such literal substitution is called macro expansion or inline expansion fine so it's not jumping and then coming back it's just expanding okay the another point is the local names of the called processors are kept distinct from the names of the calling processor so if i have a int a defined over here int let's say i is here and in main also there is a int i so during this expansion there will be a conflict right there will be a conflict that which i it is referring this is i or this i so that's what it is saying that local names are of the process are kept distinct from the names of the calling procedure we can think of each local of the called procedure is being systematically renamed into a distinct new value before the macro expansion is done. So we identify the conflict and then uh, the, the main point here in this case is the renaming is done. Okay, renaming is done systematically. Okay. So this is a, is a call by name parameter passing mechanism. What we have to actually do is this uh, macro expansion okay so this is what i need to do okay so let's see uh, this this situation or this this parameter passing mechanism by an example hi everyone and uh, the last uh, is your uh, for this runtime environment is example for this uh, call by name or text parameter passing mechanism okay so uh, there is no fun, no function call, no uh, control flow from uh, uh, caller to call function. Uh, that will not happen. Rather than there will be a, a concept and that is called as a macro expansion that is going to happen. Okay. So this is going to be performed over here. Uh, this is a small i. Okay. So now we have a we have a i assigned to four and there is a variable j and there is an array a 
which is assigned to 1, 2, 3 up to 9 and then the final position is 0. Now we have a function call and let me rewrite it again uh, for better clarity i and a of i that is being passed over here. So i value is here uh, passed as uh, okay now we are not interested right now fine. So now the concept here is that we are not at all interested in what is the value and all. We will just consider it as a text and we will just do the macro expansion. So here uh, what will happen in this case is this function call will expand itself and uh, and we will have this expansion will occur over here okay. So this is the expansion part. So now here this is a mapping that this is i and this is a of i and we will do the textual substitution that uh, the formal para parameter is uh, the actual parameter is going to substitute the formal one. So for a is equal to a plus b, so a is i is equal to i plus a of i, and then we will have a of i is equal to i plus one more time a of i, and then we have i is equal to a of i minus i and a of i is equal to i minus a of i. Okay, So that is the text of substitution that a is uh, substituted, uh, i uh, is substituted for a and a of i is substituted for b. Now let's see the uh, effect of it. Huh? So now here i is getting changed and i value is 4 plus what is a of i? So a of i I would write as a of uh, 4. Okay and if you look at a of 4 here then in that value is uh, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4 and that value is 5. So now this will become 4 plus 5 and final value of i will become 9. So here i becomes 9. Now when you say this a of i, so what is the i, I, so i right now now changes and this statement I am explaining you that this will become a of 9 okay is equal to i. So what is i still 9 plus what is a of 9 okay so value changes and this will look like this a of 9. So now a of 9 right now the 9th okay this is the 5th. 6, 7, 8, 9. So a of 9 will become 9 plus 0 and this will become a of 9 will become 9. So this position is now changes to 9. Okay, so this position changes to 9. Then again we are changing the value of i and i will become this, this I am explaining to, to you over here that i is equal to a of i okay a of i i is 9 so this will become a of 9 minus 9 okay so i will become what i will become a of 9 has been changed to this value that is 9 9 minus 9 and i is equal to 0 so here the i again will assign to the value 0 Finally, the statement I am explaining you that a of 0 is equal to 0 minus a of 0 one more time and 0 and look at here what is a of 0 here is, this is 1 and that will become minus 1. So this position the first position changes to minus 1. Uh, okay for 4 okay. So let me just put it a bit clear that is minus 1. So when it comes to the final value of the printing then it will print the value of course it will print minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and finally 9 and one more time 9. This is the final output and this is only happening because we are doing a macro expansion. So I have explained you that what exactly is this macro expansion and I have to I have uh, uh, printed the output over here in case of call by name parameter. So this is the effect of call by name parameter passing. Okay, so that's all for this call by name. I hope you understand this explanation. Thank you.